What's up guys, welcome to David vs. Film. I am David, yo soy David. On this channel I watch both older and newer movies alike to offer you honest reactions. My style tends to be tongue in cheek, so please keep that in mind, but also know that I have the utmost respect for all the films, their creators, and their fans. For all you returning viewers, and especially you returning subscribers, what's up? If you have not yet subscribed to the channel and you would like to join our merry band of misfits and superstars, please go ahead and click that subscribe button, but be sure to also click the notification bell. That lets you know we've uploaded new content and it helps our channel grow immensely. All right, so on to the main event of the evening, Friday the 13th, part two. If you guys saw my previous review for Friday the 13th, and I'll link the card up above if you haven't, you guys know that I lost my head over Mrs. Voorhees and the whole gang out at Camp Crystal Lake. I was a fan at the end of that movie and I will watch the entire series. I've been trying to diversify the channel just a little bit, work in some other movies, but you guys know I love my horror flicks. They get to me like no other movies do, so I will definitely be coming back to this genre many times over. I don't know much about Friday the 13th. In fact, I don't really know anything at all about the sequel. For all I know, Jason got his life together, went to community college, and now has a family on the heartland. I don't know, I have no idea. I, I doubt that's the case. Something tells me it's gonna be more about teenagers meeting an early demise while their pants are off. That's probably a lot more likely, and while they're at camp. That would be my guess. So. We'll see if I'm right. I've got my tumbler of peach tea as usual. In fact, it might be a little more green because I can't find any sugar-free Red Bull right now. So I'm using kind of an off-brand. So tonight we'll have green tea instead, all right? I've also got my Peace and Serenity candle to keep me calm during those iffy moments. But otherwise, I am good to go on this end. You guys sit back, relax, and let's get into Friday the 13th, part two. Okay, here we go. I am very excited to be watching this. Kill, kill, kill is back. Oh, it's old girl. She's back. Well, I, I'm Mrs. Vori. <gasps> the counselors weren't paying any attention. They were making love while that young boy drowned. I like that they're doing a montage of the the last movie so that if you didn't see it, I mean, I guess this is a nice Cliff's Notes version. Here comes a slow-mo. The dentures go flying. Oh God, in this scene. Mm -mm. Even though I see it coming this time, still not ready for it. Oh. Oh, don't take your clothes off. You know what happens when you take your clothes off in these kind of movies. <sighs> I'm allergic to horror movies. Okay, close the window now. What is that? Oh, is that Mrs. Warren? Oh! 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 And we're back! A way to like finish off the first one. Very nice. Big truck. All right. Keep your Small eyes peeled. Gas station. Hey, Teddy, buddy. <laughs> Hi, Ted. You're all doomed. Uh-oh. You're all doomed. You need to listen to this guy this time. This is my truck. <laughs> you run that fast, you don't need a truck. <laughs> Welcome to God's country. <laughs> Ah, you guys. Oh, come on, where's the country music this time? I really enjoyed my bluegrass last time. Really set the mood when Kevin Bacon was on his way to his early death. What the heck is that? This place is spooky. You're spooky. Don't wander off. Oh my God, girl, have you not seen these movies? And you just said it looks spooky, so what the hell? Hey, you guys, look at this. It's Camp Blood. This place is on the same lake as we're gonna be. But don't let that concern you.
I hit you with my horror finder. Okay, let's settle down. It's great to have you all here at our new counselor training center. Being a counselor isn't the gravy summer job everybody thinks it is. I want to hear the rest. Hi. I'm late. Everyone else got here hours ago. I said I was sorry. You did? You know, very high standards here at the Pakanak. A word of caution about our friends in the forest. This is bear country. And contrary to what everybody hears, bears are dangerous. Contrary to what I hear, that's exactly what you hear is that bears are dangerous. Food odors cling to clothing. If you're a woman, don't use perfume. And uh, keep clean during your menstrual cycle. <gasps> I don't want to scare anyone, but I'm going to give it to you straight about Jason. His body was never recovered from the lake after he drowned. Some folks claim they've even seen him. Legend has it that Jason saw his mother beheaded that night, and he took his revenge. Well, I like the story. That's cool. I like that they're given a reason, not just a random killings. We're the first to return here. Five long years he's been dormant, thirsty for young blood. <laughs> I mean, hey, come back. well done. One, two, three, chess. Good job. Remember, layers. Layers keep us safe. Nudity gets us killed. Hello? Who's there? Oh, don't say who's there. That's the worst thing you can say. <laughs> the natives i'm not supposed to be fraternizing with the staff that's right paul you're not so this is kind of against the rules if we get to the end of this thing and there is an Anne Voorhees, mrs Voorhees twin sister i will die oh god i've seen a kiss that bad since <gasps> oh oh well, that's sad he was a fixture of the town Who's going to warn people of impending doom now? Stay on this trail because there's a lot of poison ivy along here. We are Jason Bears Poison Ivy. Oh, don't kill the dog. Unless this is the dog from the thing. Don't kill the dog. Muffin? Muffin? If your dog is missing, you just wait to eat. If my dog was missing, that'd be the first thing I'd do is find her. Screw lunch. Jeff, what? You ready? Camp Blood. This chick, what is your obsession with Camp Blood, girl? Oh, come on, you chicken shit. At least put a shirt on. I mean, you're just asking for death. But you both have on sensible footwear. Oh. Oh. So I will give a slight criticism at this point. Uh, some of the characters are really good, but I have to say as a whole, I really enjoyed the group from the first movie a little bit better, I would say. So far, that was just such a fun group. And this group is fun too, but I just felt, I mean, they were just crazy, that last group. What are you kids doing out here? Next time I catch anybody over there, I'm going to have to run them in. He told us that we were... I'll handle this, Jeff. Things have been quiet for five years, and that's the way we want to keep it. You're not even going to reprimand them? Ginny, no seconds on dessert for Jeff and Sandra tonight. I mean, that sounds mild, but we have really good dessert at Peck and Neck. What was that? Hey! Hey, you! Fixer upper, Chip and Joanna. <sighs> what does he see? Oh! Okay, now I'm getting excited. Anybody wants a last night on the town, now's your chance. Yeah, I'll yeah. Take <laughs> Too much fashion for me to handle. Yeah, isn't that nice? Cold? Uh, 
my truck in one piece. Muffin? Congratulations, you just killed yourself. It's like, I gotta try to find my dog, so let me get butt ass naked and go for a swim. It's like Festivus every night at this cabin with the feats of strength. You wanna wrestle? Come with me. Wanna take me on? Sure. I only want your fingers. What? Take your pick. Hey, football and hockey. Which one do you prefer? The one with the puck. This is the worst flirting I've ever seen. And I'm including myself when I was like 17. No longer funny, Scott. Oh! oh. You have to get a knife to cut the rope. Well, hurry, okay? Jason's like. <laughs> I see a shadow. <laughs> oh! Oh, the machete! The machete! Oh! Okay, okay, okay. I can't watch that with the with the wrist or the neck. I can't. Scott, I'm gonna cut you down. <laughs> <laughs> See a lot of overbite dancing. What if there is a Jason? He'd be gone by now, right? He never went to school, so he never had any friends. I mean, she was everything to him. I mean, I doubt Jason would have even known the meaning of death. He must have seen his mother get killed. And all just because she loved him. Oh, she's bringing me down now. This is like, she turned this into like a fun little slasher sequel into like a things that make you go, hmm. He must be out there right now crying for a return. <gasps> Don't kill this guy, he's cool. Take her, she's fine. Oh God, ha! Ah, I know what that was, that mask that freaked me out for a second. We'll find our own cabin. Just give me a few minutes to get some things, okay? Damn. I like how this whole movie is a low-key reminder to make sure you have your fire extinguishers positive messaging. And some genate. Oh, don't go in the car. Bad things happen in the car. Oh. Oh, then you have to die in those granny panties. Like, pick your weapon in the background. Is that you? No, I like this guy. Come on, Jason. Give him a pass. Oh, man. Good God. Oh, I'm in the stairs. Come on. Whew. Here he comes. So I like, too, that, that it gives you explanation of the machete. I had no idea why the machete but that makes sense now i was just thinking about that from the first movie i mean obviously he has many tools at his disposal but that makes sense about why the machete would be particularly attractive to him given how his mother met her demise <laughs> that kind of reminded me of the kevin bacon with the through the neck this place closes you come straight back to camp again Excuse me, are there any after hours places around here? Sure are. Sure. <laughs> I don't know what the f the point of that scene was, but it actually is one of my favorite ones. That guy might be just goofy enough to make it through the whole movie, and I hope he does. I like him. Okay, now the fire extinguishers are just getting bigger. Mark. There's the mask. Sandra? Sandra. Sandra. Oh! Holy crap! Oh my god, this is scarier to me than anything I'm telling you guys right now. Okay, it's kind of a story. Oh! Okay. Let's have a little talk about David's scary movies. There is nothing scarier to me, for whatever reason, than a killer with like a pillowcase or some kind of cloth over his face. The movie Strangers from like, I think it was 2008 with Liv Tyler is 
to this day, one of the, if not the scariest we've ever seen, because that whatever that asthmatic guy was with the pillowcase over his head still gives me the chills. That's what I think of as scary. So that shit right there was about the scariest thing I've seen in a long, long time. F that. Paul, they wouldn't have left the place like this. Think something's wrong? Paul? Is this a joke? Jenny, come on. Paul, what's going on here? Nothing. Oh, that's me. I don't ever like to believe anything bad is happening. I'm like, it's all good. Don't worry about it. Rain's stopping. We'll go look for them. Paul, there's someone in this room. <gasps> oh! Paul, there's someone in this fucking room! Oh! 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 oh. oh the pillowcase. The pillowcase. Paul! I, mean, I get it. I mean, the same way, but help him. Answer me! Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, close. Okay, I know this is a tough tough spot to be in, Chica. I got you, but you got the window closed. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Kudos to her for her acting where she's saying like, oh my god, like to herself. That's how you survive. Screaming your head off is not going to help you survive. Oh, it always comes down to kitchens in these movies. Pitchfork? Oh, this guy. Although nice touch being in the pantry again. I remember from the first movie he came out from the pantry, although be it alive. Oh, oh, me. Oh, scared the dog. <laughs> sure. Take off into the woods, aka his territory. I mean I get it, I do the same thing. Although I probably would have grabbed one of those fire extinguishers. See, he knows he knows the trails. <gasps> oh, this would be David's end right here. The rat would give me away. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm right there with you, girl. Oh, no, girl, don't fall for that <laughs> Oh! Oh, you better thank your lucky stars for poorly made furniture, girl. Damn, girl, good for you. Shit. Back to Jason's oasis. Oh my God. Ah, that's his lair. Ah, oh. here he comes. Oh my god, oh my god. And then scream out. I mean, I get it. Oh. Well, that was creepy and kind of cool. I guess we finally saw what the sheriff was looking at. Mom, aw. That's kind of sad in a way, though. He doesn't know what else to do. <gasps> this is smart. The child psychology. Jason! It's all done, Jason. Mrs. Voorhees! I'm just here to get a new car. He has a reward for you. The eye. Mother is talking to you. No doubt. <laughs> she is brave That's and smart. Oh! 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 Oh, he's alive! Where the hell you been, dude? Guys, you gotta go. You guys know how this works. Get out of there. He ain't dead. Oh, seriously? We all want to see it, though. Jesus. Ah, they didn't show us. I don't buy it. Get away from the window. Come on. Horror Movie 101. Get the f out of here. 
out. Ah. Do that. Oops. No. Oh God. Oh. Shit. Oh. That is some sloth from the Goonies looking shit right there. Wow. Still with the machete dug in. Ooh. Where's Paul? He's, uh, we'll talk about that later. And can they finally fill in that goddamn lake and, and put a Walmart or something? Friday the 13th, part two. Gotta admit, didn't disappoint. In fact, you guys, I'm getting better at this. Just to toot my own horn for a second. Look how little tea I drank now. I even brought the big boy tonight. You know, I didn't want to play around with my little friend's tumbler. I had the big boy, but uh, yeah, didn't have to drink that much at all. So I think I'm getting a little better with these. This one, I will admit, started off a little slower. But in this one, I didn't feel quite as connected to the counselors as I did in the first one. All did a great job. It's just the first one really, really took my heart with these counselors. And then one by one, you know, as they got off, I felt felt kind of bad for them. But nevertheless, great job. First and foremost, I loved the shrine in his little uh, fixer upper. I loved the skull of his mother. I thought that was a nice touch with the sweater. Very kind of a hearkening sort of in ways back to Psycho. I thought that was really cool. Obviously, the reveal with, with Jason at the end was super cool uh that did not disappoint i don't know what i was expecting but it wasn't that so thumbs up for that i like that they went the cerebral approach about midway through and actually tried to do a little bit of the child psychology the you know reasoning about why jason would do what he does and and his you know mental state at that moment i like that i thought that was pretty cool it actually made me feel kind of sad for him putting it in his perspective for for just a minute. I loved getting to see my girl, Betsy Palmer, one more time. I thought it was just gonna be her name in the credits because we were looking at old footage. But then when she showed back up at the very end, well done. I thought it was great. I love that you guys recommended this one. I love that you're watching me watch these because I'm having such a good time and it's so much more fun with you. Let me know in the comments as usual good trivia bits, uh, things I might have missed as always. I really appreciate when you guys do that. The channel's doing great. I have you to thank. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me know any other ideas that you have on movies you want to see. I still have Halloween coming up that I want to finish up. I still want to get into the Saw series at some point. I've never seen that. So lots more good stuff to come. Thank you. Give this video a like if you found value. Subscribe if you'd like to, and I will see you guys in the next video.